Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video today. Check it out. I'm going to be doing empties and oh my goodness, I have so many to go through. I am not gonna waste any time at all. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, all that stuff. Let's get into it right now because it's gonna be a video that's gonna be long. All right, I'm gonna just start with the first thing that's in here that's big. This is my Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I finally went through this. It took me so long to go through this. So if you are looking for something that really just takes everything off as far as oil, and dirt and everything. I really did like this, but I do feel like this is a little bit more on the pricey side, but you can get these off of QVC for a really good bargain. Like I got this one and one of the micro exfoliants and I got it as a duo, got a really good deal on them. So buying just the eight ounce ones like at Ulta or Sephora stuff, that's really not what you want to do. You want to go for the big daddies on QVC. They're great as far as price point goes. And then I also went through I, a bunch of shampoo and hair products um, from Aussie. This is the Miracle Volume Shampoo. And then this one is the Three Minute Moist Miracle. And I love the Three Minute Miracle. I've been using it for years. I love the fragrance of these, although I know fragrance shouldn't be a deciding factor, but I do like it. I feel like this one really got my hair clean. So when I'm doing my hair, I'll go ahead and I'll use this first just to take out all the gunk and everything out of my hair. And then I go in with this one that's an empty. And this one I need my glasses on for because I can't see it. This is from Pure Body Naturals, Restore and Strengthen Hair Loss Prevention therapy shampoo for men and women no parabens no sls's no harmful chemicals and sulfate free this is a beta blocking shampoo and it does really help my hair as it was thinning and as it's growing um, filling back in it really does help with all that and i really do like this one for being a not a beta blocker i said beta blocker it's a dht blocker which is the hormone that actually does ha have your hair fall out so i so love this shampoo and i definitely will buy it again definitely will buy the three minute moist this is such a good conditioner and i absolutely love it and then also for hair actually those are my four steps cleanse really good use the shampoo that is the dht blocker then use um, the moisture in it put a conditioner in it and then at the very last this is cut in two because I like to get every little bit of it out of there This is what I put on for a toning and this is from Pravana. This is really gross because it's gonna be a mess trying to get it here Okay, this is from Pravana. This is the perfect blonde mask um, And you just leave it on I leave it on for like 20 minutes. So I actually towel dry my hair after I get out of the shower. I put it on and pile my hair on top of my head, leave it on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, even as long as you want to. It really doesn't matter. And then this brings the most beautiful tones to your hair, cuts the brassies completely out. So you do have that very cool tone to your hair. I love this stuff. And if you guys can see the purple that's on there, that's what it is it's very very deep dark purple and it's really great stuff i buy it over and over again and i never have i'm never without it because i use it almost every time i do shampoo love that stuff all right tons of hair stuff more hair stuff from la ange la ange whatever it is this is their deja vu dry shampoo i do like this however i don't feel like it's the best dry shampoo i've ever i've ever used this one i do this is the living proof perfect day dry shampoo loved this stuff you guys i love the way it smells i love that it keeps my oils at bay i love I it i actually got this package of a bunch of dry shampoos i think it was from sephora so these were all in it, all these trail size except for the la ange or la, la ange <laughs> anyway this one is the moroccan oil dry shampoo liked this one a lot this one says it's for light tones liked it but probably won't repurchase it just it it just was an okay one it wasn't the greatest one i've ever used another one that i went through that i can't see the name on okay this one is from chlorine laboratories and this is a dry shampoo and again i don't it says it has oak milk oak it says it has oat milk in it and it says it's a gentle formula i 
wasn't that crazy about this one. I didn't feel like I got extra lasting out of it. This one is the Detox Dry Shampoo. This one I talked about and I love. And this one is on sale at Nordstrom for a double huge size of it um, for the price of one. And I will link that below for you guys um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I hope they have some when they open up to people that aren't card members because I'm not a card member, but I love this stuff, you guys. All right, this one right here I was sent. Um, this is the Replenix Necklatage. This is Titan Lift and Smooth. Okay, this, I couldn't use the whole thing. I don't know whether it was, this smells like dirty laundry to me and I can't put it on my face because I just feel like it's, it's gaggy. And I really like, the product inside, it's very emollient. It doesn't have that pilling factor that so many neck creams do when they talk about it being lifting. I don't know after using it almost all the way up. I mean, I've got, I probably have like a week's worth of uses left in there, but I just couldn't do it. But I don't think that it was the best that I've ever had, but it was okay. All right, I gotta go through these faster. I'm never gonna get through them. This one is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. If you guys remember, I talked about SK11 or SK2, and then I talked about the Secret Key, which is, I have an empty of that right here. These are gl gl galactomyces that are the fermentation process in a beer and they discovered that this was making people's hands look absolutely gorgeous and look younger and softer and smoother and this is something that i have in my skincare i will continue to buy it but this right here is the actual eye cream that is like that do i feel like it did everything that I feel like the secret key does. Not really. I used it up and I like it a lot. It's very emollient and would I, recommend it if you're somebody that's looking for an eye cream, but I like the secret key better and I just put it right up under my eyes anyway. Plus you get so much more out of there. Not very expensive on that Benton eye cream. This one is from the Inky List. This is the retinol eye cream. Helps reduce visible signs of aging around the eyes. Didn't feel like it did that much for me. So, you know, about that one. This one is from Open Formula. This is their retinol cream, 2%. Retinoid. I don't, I don't feel like these do as much as they should do. Because they're not the prescription, I use a prescription. I did use this on off days of what I was using the other one of what I use my Retin-A. So I don't really feel like I will re repurchase something like that from Suko Yakasuhara. These are absolutes for me. This is the cream. This is a very, very heavy, very thick, very balmy cream. Um, if you guys are very dry, you haven't had luck with getting anything to stay through the night on your skin, this will make you moisturize by the morning. I swear by it. I never will be without it. All right, let's talk about the Gin Amber Beauty, the 10% vit vitamin C with squalane, and I think this has um, ferulic acid in it. Anyway, um, I like this. It was a really nice serum. It went on really nicely, but I don't feel like it's my best vitamin C that I've ever had. So I did like that, and I appreciate Gin for sending that over to me from Pixie Beauty. This is the Retinol Tonic. I liked this a lot as far as using a lightweight retinol product on the days off from using my Retin-A. Same thing I was talking about as using the Retinol 2%, but I do like this a little bit better. I feel like I can use it all over my body and you know my arms and stuff. It just really kind of spreads out a little bit better. I put it in my hands instead of on a cotton pad or anything like that. So I do, I do like that a lot. I'm actually decluttering these next two products. This is from Loving Tan. This is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, Instant Bronzer and Self Tanner. And moisturizer, it says, and this one is in the dark. This streaks like no other on me. So I'm decluttering that one. Same thing with the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse. I don't know whether these mousses just do that. I use a mitt when I put them on, but honestly, you guys, they just they look so streaky and so bad after the time passes and I just, I had to declutter. All right, from Good Molecules, I have two actually. This one is the cleansing balm. Love this balm. Thick Balm doesn't have coconut oil in it, but it takes off your eye makeup like crazy. I purchased this one over and over again, have a new one ready to go. And then this right here, my favorite product from Good Molecules is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This has alpha arbutin, vitamin C, licorice root, and niacinamide in it. 
love this. I swear you guys, I don't know what it is about this, but I could see a difference in my skin after two weeks, honestly, in my pores and my skin. I just felt like there was a difference. And I don't say that lightly because I feel like skincare has to be tested over the long haul. Well, now I've tested that for like six jars and I won't be without it either. This was my birthday gift at, um, Sephora. And this is the Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Love the fragrance of this. Um, I love how moisturizing the Bum Bum Boom Boom Cream is. And then this one is called Coco Cabana. I didn't like this one. It's good. This one actually smells like Almond Joy and this one smells like tanning oil. Just so you guys know, I didn't like this one as much as I did the Boom Boom Cream Bum Bum Cream for moisturizing. So just so you guys know, I really like that one. I have bought big ones of these a lot and I don't know if I'll buy the other one because I didn't feel like it was as moisturizing. Okay. This one was sent to me from my sweet friend Leah at Skin Beautiful RX. And this is the Neogenesis Eye Serum. And you guys, I did like this. It is, it says the next generation stem cell science. And it has um, plant stem cells in it. And I do really like this a lot, you guys. I think that this is a really good serum for your eyes. I just, um, for me right now and with my budget the way it is i can't repurchase this right now but if i could i would honestly it is really really good it did soften my fine lines and my wrinkles and i felt like as i used it more and used up the whole entire tube that i did feel like i saw improvement i do have a discount code for skin beautiful rx so i'll make sure that i list that for you guys it is an affiliate code so if you do use it thank you for supporting me but if you don't and you want to try this anyway it is a good serum really good serum all right from aesthetica i got a brush cleaner really good brush cleaner you guys um i don't remember where i got this from but it was a good brush cleaner and i used the whole tube of it i actually just use a really good cleanser to do my brushes so and you can use baby shampoo too which works like a dream so i don't know if i will repurchase that one this one is from the inky list look how it's blown out of the top you guys this is the bakuchi oil or bakuchi oil this is a lotion that is supposed to be every bit as good as retin-a this is my first one it came like that so i got a new one from them but i did use this one up and i'm working on the second one do i feel like it's as good as my retin-a i guess you would have to use it over the long haul for me hasn't really shown up any super duper wonderful things yet so i'm gonna try and use maybe two more after i so four total and then i'll report back because i really want to know what this does over the long haul if it's going to be like the miracle that everybody's talking about right now speaking of miracles from the ordinary the glycolic acid seven percent toning solution i love this you guys this is so good for keeping my skin super soft all the time so it's sloughing off that dead skin and it's helping with the signs of aging but for me somebody that has dry skin this glycolic acid is fantastic it works so good on me and i just love it so i purchased that one over and over again from number seven laboratories this is the line correcting booster serum so this was um, supposed to be seven times concentration and they have it in this delivery system because they want you to think of um, doing this instead of botox oh there's a little bit in there okay so i this is the second one of these i've used you guys i this is pretty pricey i like how much this sinks in and i like that it does give you a lot of moisture but as far as seeing tremendous results that they claim i don't think i did so i'm not sure that i'm going to repurchase that one again this right here is from Algenest. this is their splash moisturizing setting sprite i love this stuff you guys if you do get a chance to get it maybe when it's on sale or something because it is a little pricey but this is really really good and i love the spray on it the spray nozzle is fantastic i probably will rinse it out and use it for something else because those spray was really good on again it. from open formula this is the peptide moisture eight percent matrixol two percent sin cynic snake um so this is a serum serum that you use on your skin again i liked it but i don't feel like it did tremendous things for me same thing goes with the time revolution this is from misha immortal youth cream i don't feel like it made me immortal so <laughs> i liked it but again 
there is a pretty heavy fragrance. Misha cannot get away from fragrances. I don't know why, but they definitely love their fragrances over there. So that one was a no-go for me. From Dr. Brandt, this was sent to me, Dark Spots No More Triple Acid Spot Minimizing Concentrate. Um, do, how do I feel about this one? I feel like it did start to fade a lot of my dark spots, but again, it's a half an ounce. And I feel like like the brightening toner that I talked about, the niacinamide brightening toner from Good Molecules, I feel like it did more. So if you have really dark spots, maybe take some of that and concentrate it on the areas where you need it to instead of buying something like this and you're saving a lot of money. It was okay, but it wasn't the greatest thing I've ever had. This is a wonderful Skin Aqua UV Super Milk 50 SPF. PA plus 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 and I love this. This is very very moisturizing. It is so good you guys I absolutely love it in the winter time I also use a skin aqua in the summertime, but it is a lot lighter It's an essence instead of the moisture, but this is so good for dry skin you guys and fantastic sunscreen So I definitely say yes to that. I went through this Lancome lip gloss They don't even make this one anymore. This it's a beautiful lip gloss though I'll see if I can swatch it for you guys. I wish that they still did it's called lavender something but it's so pretty it's just one of those ones that you can wear over top of anything and it just lighten up your lips and i'm kind of sad that it's gone but i knew that i needed to use it up because it's gotten quite old so i'm glad that i did get a chance to use that up and then lastly i have three eye products that i used up i go through mascaras because they either get dried out or i'm not really in love with them but i did go through a whole nyx micro brow this one is in ash brown my perfect color it has a spoolie on one end and then the ultra fine tip on the other end and i did go through it I have bought this over and over again and will continue to repurchase it. I just think that it's a great brow product. And then these are three mascaras. This, this one is from Rimmel. This is the Scandalized Volume On Demand Waterproof Formula. This one was okay. It built okay, it did okay, but um, I feel like it dried out really quick and got clumpy a little quicker than I would have liked it to. Not crazy about how fat that wand was at the at the one end. It just felt like it was overwhelming me at times. And I do have shaky hands from my disability. So I kind of felt like it was a little bit overwhelming. It wasn't super building, but it was really good on the... Um, waterproof part of it. So just so you guys know that. I also got from Kiko Milano. I used to love this and I repurchased it. It's their mascara that is the Extra Sculpt Waterproof Formula. And I used to love this. I used to buy this all the time on Kathleen Light's recommendations back before I was a YouTuber, but I could not use that brush. It was so big, you guys. Loved the formula in here, but the brush wasn't great. I'm gonna switch out the brush and continue to use it. But I wanted you to know about the size of the brush that if I just had to use this, it made a mess because my handshake and it's too big and it went all over so it was crazy my favorite mascara from the drugstore ever is from maybelline it's the last sensational mascara this is their waterproof formula and i did show this in a dupes video very recently as being a dupe for the benefit roller lash and i do feel like it is it lifts and it curls and it separates and gives volume and i've repurchased it tons of times and i do repurchase it in the waterproof formula especially in the heat and humidity because i absolutely love it so that is everything i cannot believe i went through that so fast you guys but i did and i hope that you got some good ideas out of it thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with me today i do appreciate that more than you know please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here what have you guys been using up in your arsenal i know that everybody's kind of been saying i don't really want to buy anything right now i want to use up what i got so i'm kind of feeling that way too i love this part where i get to go to the garbage can and throw all these empties away thanks guys i hope everybody is safe sanitized and staying healthy please stay hydrated in this bad heat that we're having i love you all so very much and i'll catch you all in my next video bye guys